Dear fellow Pronexians, you know, a very good morning to all of you. Thank you for taking your time out from your busy Thursday morning to join us for this interesting webinar that PropNex Singapore has specially curated for you. So as an introduction, my name is Brian Eng and I am the IC for Australia Properties marketed by PropNex Singapore. Now, PropNex Singapore aims to bring the best Australian projects to our fellow PropNexians. So you have one more tool in your toolbox when engaging with your clients. And today, we are very pleased to share with you one of Melbourne's recent iconic project. That's our corporations, our iconic stage one. So a little bit more about our corp or otherwise known as, oops, sorry, a little bit more about our corporation or otherwise known as our corp. Now founded in 2000, our corp is one of Australia's most trusted development companies known for delivering the very best property investment experience. And it has done so by its impressive stock track records of 30 successful buildings to an astonishing tune of total project value approaching $2 billion with a 100% completion rate. So and today, I am joined by our COPS Business Development Manager, Ms. Alexandra Bogosian, and Sales Director, Mr. Andrew Crichton, who will be sharing with you more about our COPS Magnificent Stage 1 building, a completed apartment property located at the charming Melbourne South, which also happens to be easily connected to the very busy South Bank and the even busier Melbourne CBD. So if you and your clients want something that you can occupy or collect rent immediately, this will be one of those developments that should fit perfectly for you. So without further delay, I will hand over the mic to I, Alex I may come out. to start her exciting presentation. Now over to you, Alex. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear very clearly, Alex. Go ahead. Fantastic. So good morning to everyone and thank you so much, Brian and the PropNext team. We are so delighted to present our iconic to you today. Before we start the presentation, we are here in the display suite. We just wanted to give you a quick tour of the display suite. This is based in the bottom of the building on the ground floor. And this is where we would normally meet our customers um, initially and then take them up into the building to see the fabulous apartments and amenities. So coming into the display suite, um, we've got our display over here of all our fantastic awards, which we'll go into in further detail from our design award to our lifestyle award, um, which we obviously point out to all our buyers. And then we have the model here um, in the display suite, which we showcase to the client and point out where the apartments are that we're going to show them on the tour. Um, and then we've got our big screen here. So a great experience here in the display suite before we head up into the building. Um, so without further ado, I'll go back to my computer and we will start the presentation. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Alex. So just uh, give Alex a second to get to her desk and then ah, voila, she's there now. So like magic. So Alex, would you turn on your microphone now, please? Thank you. All right. And do you want to share your screen as well? Yeah, yep, won't be a moment. I think let's just go with that. Perfect. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Excellent. So we've seen the video. So we'll start with why are iconic. So this is really um, what we're going to be talking about today um, throughout the presentation. So why why buy our, at our iconic? Why live at our iconic? So the main points here. First of all is location. So location is really key to our iconic. We are situated in the neighborhood of South Melbourne and in the best of both worlds. So we have the Port Melbourne beach less than two kilometers away from us, as well as the CBD. So residents here can walk to the beach, walk to the South Melbourne market, and then jump on the 109 tram and be in the CBD in under 10 minutes. So location is key, and that's one of the reasons why people choose our iconic. The views, the views is a key part of the building. Where the building is situated, we have a 10 hectare park in front of the building, which runs right down to the Port Melbourne beach. So when you're up in the building, you are getting protected bay views of Port Phillip Bay. And in the surrounding area of Port Melbourne, which is just in front of the building, you have low-rise residential 
buildings or houses. So it does really feel like you are, you know, further away from the CBD than you really are with all the parks um, and residential housing in the area. The investment potential. So there are a number of rentals in the building and they are achieving a 20 to 25% above the average South, South Melbourne rental uh, pricing. And we have a in-house uh, rental team as well. So the advantages of having the in-house rental team, they are here on site, they know the building very well, and they have a number of people already on the waiting list to get into the building. So if you do buy in our iconic as an investor, we, we certainly have the team here to help you get a tenant as soon as the property settles. And then in addition to that, um, and we'll talk more about um, our iconic two, but we will have a stage two, which will be launching within the next couple of months. And the exciting thing about um, our iconic two is it will help to increase the current value of the apartments in our iconic one in terms of pricing. Now, our iconic itself has over 30 hotel style amenities. So again, this is a key feature as to why people do choose our iconic. Now, we'll have a look at all the uh, photos shortly. However, just to give you an overview um, of some of the fantastic amenities, of course, uh, indoor gym, we have a heated pool, steam room, sauna, 300 metre running track, which is quite unique. I don't know any other building here in Melbourne which has a running track. Um, and in the building itself, we have a Coles local supermarket as well as a liquor land. So the residents simply come down the lift in the building and they can enter Coles without even having to leave the building, which is a great convenience. And lastly, award-winning track record. So we'll touch again on the developer, R Corporation, um, but R Corporation is a Melbourne-owned uh, Business. So Andrew Rettig, our owner, lives here in Melbourne. He's a local. He comes and visits the building all the time, um, very involved throughout the whole process. And our corporation has been completing projects for the past 25 years, 100% completion rate, and have you know, completed everything from townhouses to apartments to business parks as well. So fantastic track record um, from our corporation. So we'll head into the main part of the presentation now and obviously touch on these main points as well throughout the presentation. In terms of the actual building, um, as you've probably seen within the videos, uh, it's 30 storeys high. We have just over 450 apartments within the building and a mix of one, two and three bedrooms. We also have the Coles supermarket I spoke about. Um, and the building is completely finished, ready to move in now. So we, we did launch the building during a difficult time um, in August 2020 during COVID and have been very successful despite that um, and completed the building last June where we are now 90% sold. Saying that, we still have some fabulous apartments left in the building and so certainly some opportunities still to get into the building and enjoy our iconic for yourself. So a bit more on the location, um, just to give you an idea um, in terms of the surrounds. So you can see our iconic, the red dot on the map there, and then you can see the green space in front of the building. So that was what I was mentioning in terms of the building being situated on a park. So this park goes right down to the Port Melbourne beach. And you can also see the, the tram track, which runs uh, right down to the beach as well. So you can hop on the tram, which is 250 meters from the building. In one direction, you can reach the beach in under 10 minutes. And then, then in the other direction, as you can see, the Melbourne CBD is just down the road. You've also got Docklands close by, the freeway is close by as well if you want to pop down to Geelong or the Mornington Peninsula. And you also have Albert Park where the Grand Prix is very close by as well. So very convenient, very close to the CBD. And in terms of what's to come in the future, um, so just above the our iconic building there, you can see a road, Normanby Road. 
So this area here will be completely transforming over the next couple of years. There is another development as well close by to us, um, which is under construction. They will have a number of retail spaces as, as well in their building. And with our iconic too, again, we will have a number of retail spaces like restaurant, cafe, hair salon, um, and some other items. So this, this whole precinct will really become very residential um, and even better than it is at this point. Um, also, there will be some um, more park spaces as well, which I'll um, touch on in a moment. So again, a fabulous building, as you can see, um, and to the left of the building is where there will be a park space. So they're actually going to close off that road um, to the left and that will become a park space in the next couple of years. And you can see how, how amazing the building looks at night as well with the running track all lit up, the dining pavilions, um, and then the building as well with the city in the backdrop. This is showing the view looking towards the Port Phillip Bay, which will never be built out. Um, so this is Port Melbourne. So the building actually sits on the boundary of South Melbourne and Port Melbourne. So in front of the building, Boundary Street, it then crosses over into Port Melbourne and Port Melbourne has a heritage overlay. So there is no... Um, no option of them going higher than four levels. So you're always going to have this, this amazing view. In terms of the developer, our corporation, so we briefly touched on their track record in terms of um, their 25 years experience and 30 buildings. I think the main thing here to note is the philosophy that underpins our corporation, which is the everything considered mindset. So everything that our corporation does um, is with this in mind. So in terms of the our iconic building, everything considered in terms of the floor plan design, the amenities that we put in the building, the design, the location. So that's a key to our, our corporation's success. And we have been successful, 100% completion over the 25 years. And as you can see, a couple of points there. We, we aim to create generational wealth for our clients and deliver on what promise, on the promise we make every time. So a bit about the lifestyle. Um, as I mentioned, location is key to our iconic. And as you can see here, there's some great images of the water. So the Port Melbourne Beach, which as I mentioned, is a short walk from the building. We've got fabulous restaurants, even a, a whiskey distillery as well within walking dis distance, and then the famous Ribera's seafood restaurants, which the residents love to visit. So this image here, I guess, really kind of shows, oh, pardon me, we'll go back, shows the view from Port Melbourne looking back at the building, our iconic so as I mentioned, it is really a suburban feel around the area, yet the convenience of being so close to the city and all the other amenities that I've mentioned. If you jump on the 109 tram, you will go past the Crown Casino Entertainment Area. So you've got Crown at your doorstep, the South Bank Promenade, which again has a myriad of restaurants and entertainment. And then you've got the Art Centre, which has all the amazing theatre shows and ballet which come to Melbourne. Now, we've briefly touched on the views, but I just wanted to highlight this again as the views are a key part of the building. So as you can see on the image to the left, that is the Bay View, which we've spoken about. And you can see all the low-rise residential buildings in front of our iconic. And then the other view line is the city view, which again is just as stunning. The bay view, as you can see, all the housing, residential housing. 
and then the city view. So as I mentioned at the beginning, why are iconic? So the amenities are a very important part of the building and why people choose are iconic. In terms of the amenities, as you can see, we cover everything. Everything has been considered. We have the Coles supermarket. We have beautiful landscaped gardens on level five, fire pit, even a dog washing station. We have a 24 hour concierge, building management team, security, dry cleaning service. And on level five, where the garden area is, we've got a swimming pool, outdoor barbecues, steam room, sauna, running track. And with our iconic too, this will even get better with further amenities to add to this. This is the swimming pool shot on level five. And to the right of this, we will have our, our iconic two building. So you'll be able to walk over from this swimming pool to another swimming pool, which will be in our iconic two, along with a hot magnesium spa. Our current gym area, again, fantastic views from the gym area. We also have an outdoor fitness station. And again, with our iconic two coming along, this gym area will be expanded and we will also be adding an infrared red light sauna, as well as creating a yoga and Pilates pavilion as well, which all the residents in our iconic one will also have access to. In the lobby level, we have a tiered seating cinema room where you can also partake in karaoke. So residents just jump on their building app and they can book this space for their own personal use. And that's all part of the annual owner's corporation fees. The running track, which I mentioned, so 300 metre running track on level five of the building, which goes right around the building and then leads to our dining pavilion. So we have two, pardon me, two dining pavilions that residents can book, again, just by the building app. So this is our larger one, uh, which also has a full kitchen attached and residents can enjoy celebrations with friends and family, invite them over, or throughout the, the day, you know, if they're working from home, they can also book one of these dining pavilions. So we also have a second one on this level as well. Now up to the top of the building. So this is the Horizon Lounge, which is located on level five, uh, sorry, level 30 of the building. Again, as you can see, it's got the angled glass windows looking right out to the Port Phillip Bay, getting those protected bay views. The Horizon Lounge is an amenity exclusively for the sub penthouse and the townhouse owners. So they get to access this um, again and can book exclusively for any events uh, they might want to hold. And Coles Supermarket, as I mentioned, we have the Coles Supermarket and Liquor Land on the ground floor of the building. Residents can just come down in the lift and do all their shopping and head back up. So very, very convenient. Now, next, I just wanted to give you an idea of what we still have available within the building. So as you can see, it is ordered in terms of pricing. Um, we have been able to add a couple more options in here um, than uh, a couple of days ago. We've had some, some movement there. So we have the two bedrooms, which start from 740000 and then our sub-penthouse collection from $2.19 million. They're located in the blue and our townhouses, which are around that 2.5 million price point. So as we've discussed, we can you can easily check the availability in development ID, um, but we still have some fantastic two bedrooms there. And then obviously our sub penthouse collection as well on the top five floors. 
and our townhouses located on the ground floor. And as you can see as well, in terms of the um, price per square metre in the right-hand column, you're around that um, 10, 10 and a half, 11, 12 for the two bedrooms, um, and then still a very good price per square metre for our sub penthouses and townhouses. So on to the floor plans, I thought I'd show a couple of our key two bedroom options. So the floor plan here is of one of our 01 apartments. So I've listed a couple there with the pricing. So 601, 1401 and 2001. All of our two bedrooms, very spacious, at least 70 square metres internally, as well as a 10 square metre outdoor space. When you go into the apartments, they do feel very spacious, which is due to the high ceiling. So it's 2.7 metre ceilings, floor to ceiling windows and double glazing throughout the building. So this is a two bedroom, two bathroom. All the bedrooms have built-in robes. It's timber flooring in the main part of the kitchen and living area and Bosch appliances throughout the kitchen. So you can see the price point there. We have um, 601 from 740 going up to 759,000 for the option on level 20. We also have some fantastic uh, incentives for our buyers. So for the two bedrooms, we have a 6% rebate on offer. This is another key option within the building. So this sits on the corner of the building, which you can see by the curved design of the master bedroom. A little bit larger, so at 75 square metres internally, and again, a, a 10 square metre outdoor space. And similar to what I've just said, high ceilings, this particular design also has a kitchen island bench as part of the design. So those were our two bedroom apartments. We're going to have a look now at our sub penthouses. We have 15 sub penthouses within the building and they sit on the top five floors. So from level 25 up to level 29, with the penthouse on level 30. The completely different fit out, as you can see, is the dark timber flooring. You've got a different um, stone bench top. All of the sub penthouses have a butler's pantry and a very spacious living room. So all of those 15 sub penthouses are all unique. So there's no one, uh, one sub penthouse, which is alike. They all differ and they start from, as I mentioned, just under 2.2 million up to 3.6 million. You have the stunning water views and then we also have three sub penthouses with city views. The sub penthouses were designed by David Hicks, who is an internationally acclaimed interior designer. So absolutely stunning in terms of the interior. This floor plan showcases sub penthouse 2504, which is one of our larger sub penthouses. Internally, 212 square metres and also a 22 square metre balcony. As you can see from that image, again, stunning views of the Port Phillip Bay, and that's a protected view line there. With the sub penthouses, you also have two car spaces and a storage cage. Just gonna click on the link here to watch a very short video for sub penthouse 2504. So guys, I, I think there is no volume for some reason, but it doesn't matter. Um, we will send you the videos uh, subsequent to this. 
Uh, and we also have all the videos on standby. So if your customer wants to see them for whatever reason, we we'll definitely have them and it will it, it will have sound. I think it's just not coming up on Alex's computer. Oh, it's not coming up? Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry, Alex. This we'll just proceed. It's fine. Okay. All right. And um, so yeah, anyway, the, the the video was the one that you were showing at the beginning in the waiting room for 2504. Yeah. That's what I figured as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. We can send those details through later. Um, and just a bit of a summary. So all the sub penthouses, three bedrooms, this particular one, um, all the bedrooms have en suites as well. Um, and you can see the price point there, 3.5 million with the square meter rate of 16 and a half thousand. So an absolutely yeah, stunning apartment. If you have anyone looking for a larger option, very close to the city um, and very close to the beach. Sub penthouse 2801. So this is another option, again, around that 200 square metres. This one has both city as well as bay views. Again, the main details, you're looking at around 3.6 million for this option. Uh, which brings the square metre rate to around 18,000, but a very generous living dining area as well. And then onto our townhouses. So we have a couple of townhouses which are still available within the building. This They sit on the east side of the building and you have direct access from the street to walk into the building, into, sorry, into your townhouse. So ground level, you've got your main master bedroom, ensuite, uh, laundry and storage area. On the mezzanine level, your two additional bedrooms, another bathroom, and then you've got your two car spaces as well. So you can come into your car space and walk directly onto the mezzanine level and then either go down to your master bedroom or up to the top floor where the main kitchen and living area is. And then you have your outdoor space as well of the living area. And this looks onto the, uh, like a green tree canopy, which is, which is again, very nice. So we might skip the video then if we're having a bit of trouble with the video. Yeah, please do that. I think it's, yeah. I think it's something. And so on to some images of the townhouse. So this is the entryway. There's the very stylish uh, spiral staircase which leads you up into the townhouse. This image here is on the top floor where you've got your kitchen living area looking out onto the trees. The main kitchen with a stunning stone bench top or mille appliances in the townhouses. And then the outdoor space as well. So summary there of the townhouse, again, three bedrooms, the 2.5 million price point and a very attractive uh, square metre rate of around 14,500. Now, as I briefly mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, we have recently won a number of awards, which has been very exciting and rewarding. Um, property Guru, we won four awards for the best lifestyle development, architectural design um, there, as you can see, within Australia and also Victoria. And some other awards, the UDIA Design Awards winner, Property Council of Australia, also award winner, and also the Australian Property Institute. So we're very, very proud of all these awards um, and just showcases uh, the excellence of, of the building. So that's the main part of the presentation. I'll open it up to any questions from the PropNex team. Yes. So basically, um, could you see the webinar chat on the uh, Zoom, Alex? Hang on. I'm just going to stop sharing. Um, chat. Yes. Um, so I just told the team, uh, you know, that... In our COP stage one, there is a go get car available. So yeah. it's actually a third party car hire company. And um, the actual R COP has um, eight dedicated car spaces on the ground floor, and residents can book online to hire for the time period. Do you want to elaborate a little bit more on this as well? 
Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, as Brian mentioned, we have dedicated spaces on the ground floor of the building. And this company, GoGet, is um, yeah, like a, a hire car company, essentially. Um, but they're quite flexible because you can hire it from, you know, an hour through to, you know, a week. So it, it really um, is quite convenient for, for any needs you have if you don't have a car. Um, so you just jump onto um, the GoGet website. Uh, book your car for however long you require it for, um, choose the location of our iconic and then literally come down from your apartment, grab the car and then off you go. So very convenient. Again, with that, you know, everything considered mindset um, to, you know, enhance your lifestyle within the building. Yes. And this is a good reminder to everyone that actually right in front of um, our iconic is actually the Tram 109 which also gets you to South Bank and to CBD. I think all the way to Box Hill, if I'm not wrong, right? It's 109. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. So, so it really is a very um, uh, comprehensive uh, tram system. Over to you, Alex. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Like the, the tram stop is about 250 metres from the building. So you go out the back of the building, short walk, jump on the tram, and this takes you past the uh, Crown Entertainment area. And then it heads up Collins Street, which is one of the main streets in the CBD. So you can be at uh, Collins Street in under 10 minutes. Fantastic. So yeah. uh, and then it's one more question, I think, from Sudi. Can you read the question over there as well? Oh, the, um, the strata fees, is that the one? Yes, that's the one, yeah. Yeah, so um, will it be similar? Yeah. So in terms of the fees, I mean, we don't have them as yet as the building is not completed. However, they are advising that due to, so our Iconic 1 will share the facilities with our Iconic 2 and vice versa. So that will be advantageous, advantageous in terms of the pricing because there are more people to pay the fees. So there may even be the um, option that the fees will come down because there's more people to cover the cost. So a lot of the facilities, once the um, second building is finished, will be shared. So, for example, the building management team, um, you know, they might may hire some more staff. However, there will be more people to cover the cost. So it, we don't expect the, OC, the owner's corporation fees to go up with stage two. In fact, it could be the opposite. Yes. And um, obviously, I think this answers um, Suli's question as well. Is there any bylaws in, to ensure stage one and stage two can share facilities? So obviously, the facilities can be shared uh, from the get-go, basically, right? Correct. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the buildings will be joined. So, you know, on level five, where the pool is, um, you can just walk from, you know, the current building over to st um, the second building. Mm. Irene has a question on the uh, FIRB free rebate bin offer. So I, I think right now, uh, our understanding is that there won't be any um, FIRB fee rebate being offered. But uh, if you're buying a, a two-bedroom apartment from our um, iconic stage yeah. one, you yeah. will be getting a, um, a sort of a buyer's uh, rebate, basically, uh, at settlement, uh, which is about amounting to 6% of the total price. So if it's a three-bedroom, it's a 4%. And then uh, both uh, two and three bedders uh, come with blinds as well. I'm very yeah. mindful because I'm on recorded now, so I want to make sure I get it right. <laughs> so right. so that, that's correct, right, Alex? Yeah. That's correct. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, okay. So you have the purchaser rebates um, as well as the inclusion of blinds yes. in the apartment. So yeah. you, can, you can take this video to the bank, basically. And yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we, actually, for all of you who are online right now, we actually have a surprise for you as well. Um, Andrew Crichton, which is the head of sales in our corp, is actually uh, in the building as well. So I thought that he would take the opportunity to show you a little bit about the views as well. So uh, over to you, Andrew. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. go ahead. Hi. Hey, going. Thank you very much to the PropNext team. So my name's Andrew um, Andrew Crichton. I'm the director of sales and marketing for our corp. Uh, I've just headed up to the... Uh, Horizon Lounge and I wanted to show you the view um, given today is a stunning spring day in Melbourne. Uh, this is on level 30 as Alex explained to you uh, and I'll just give you a quick walk around tour of um, of this area. So 
the whole building, as Alex said, has been designed to face the bay. That's what you're looking at um, from this level. And as Alex said, all of this area down here, this is not going to be built out. That's why this site was chosen. So those sheds down there, those buildings down there, they have a maximum of four levels. Again, they cannot be built out. The park is not going anywhere. And all of that is heritage overlay. So that view all the way down, you can see on a clear day, you can all see all the way down to the Mornington Peninsula. And on, on this way, you can see all the way to Geelong. So that, that's not going anywhere. I just wanted to give you a quick tour of this space in real time. So you've got a bar here, an oven for entertaining, um, a dining area here and a large TV. So this is bookable when you're a resident of the premium collection. So levels 25 and above. So those sub penthouses. Uh, as you can see, the curved, um, sorry, the, the slanted glass to maximise those views. doesn't end there. It's got full Bluetooth sound, so you can have a party up here. And then upstairs, we go directly up to a private dining area with full kitchen facilities, bathroom, et cetera. So quite a stunning, um, stunning sort of amenity add-on here. Uh, you can see the view back towards the city there. And then I'll just quickly walk you through the kitchen and your fridge, kitchen area, again, the view. And then over to your private dining area just here. So this is really a stunning sort of addition to the uh, to the amenity in the building. It is reserved. Um, we want to cre obviously create some exclusivity for the penthouse residents. So there's only sort of 15 apartments who have access to this. Um, which, which does create that exclusivity. But for the price points, we think it's priced quite well. Um, uh, and hopefully you'll agree. Um, we think this is a great amenity to add to the to the project. So that's it. I just wanted to show you that. Thank you again, Pro PropNext team. We're looking forward to, forward to working with you guys. And thank you, Brian, for your time and for arranging this. No worries. Thank you so much, Andrew. I was just thinking that We've been doing this for so long, like 12 years ago, you know, this will be unthinkable having you run up just literally from it using... I know. <laughs> we did that, you know, like 10 years, 12 years ago, we had the worst Skype, basically. And it was yeah, exactly. And years. I'm still getting 5G up here. It's yeah, so it's, it's very, very good as well. I think yeah. um, Irene asked another question uh, on the rebates, basically, um, being offered for the sub penthouses. Is it the same for the three bedroom units? The short answer for now is yes. But when you do have a bias, we will bring it to Alex and Andrew, and then we will, how should I put this, persuade them, you know, to see what else can we do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be something there. I'm sure they um, they can be persuaded. I'm sure we'll find something for them. That, that's where I come in, Brian. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> there you see Andrew, uh, right on dot, you know, right on cue. He just shows up basically like a genius. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> if you I have guess. that. If you have that, Irene, uh, we will talk more, I'm sure. Yeah, and I guess to highlight for the three bedrooms, our uh, three bedroom apartments in the main part of the building are all sold. So if your buyer is after a three bedroom, it will be either one of our townhouses or one of the sub penthouses. And just, you know, just a little curious, basically, when do you think the um, our iconic stage two will be launched, roughly? We believe early next year at this stage. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, That's... yeah, what do we know? October, yeah, within the next couple of months. Okay. So, obviously, we if your buyer wants something completed now, we definitely have our mm -hmm. iconic stage one for them to consider. But if they want something a bit further out for various reasons, uh, do keep um, KIV um, stage two in mind as well because that's happening real soon as well. So um, I'm just going to give another 10 seconds to see if there's any more questions uh, being posted out there. Uh, looks like everybody is very, um, I guess there's two more questions. I guess all ready to sell now. You know, all right. All ready to sell. Fabulous. So <laughs> just remember location, obviously key, views, amenities. That's really sort of the key, the key um, selling points to our iconic. But you can always look back on this video, reach out to myself or Andrew at any time. Um, we love to help. Um, I've just seen another question. When will stage two be completed? So we actually haven't started the construction as yet. Um, but again, that will be soon within the next couple of months. Um, and I guess build time from there is probably going to be around two and a half years. Yeah. Just curious, right? For the stage two, would there be a hotel be part of it or is there no hotel? Um, no, no. So uh, just a while ago, that was um, 
part of the plans, but yeah. there's not going to, yeah, at this point, no, there's not going to be a hotel component. Yeah. Gotcha. But we will have um, retail spaces on the ground floor on Normanby Road, which I mentioned. So a restaurant, a cafe, hairdresser, florist, those type of things, um, which, again, will really, you know, transform the area and, and you yeah. know, and I think having seen the development over there the last few years, I mean, yeah. obviously that our iconic was the first one with the supermarket. Yeah. And I've been to the supermarket. It is a very comprehensive supermarket. I was there just literally in July with uh, my two teammates, basically, and we bought sushi and some chicken and a sandwich. I remember that was quite yeah. Yeah, so it's actually, um, so it's not just your standard Coles supermarket. It's a Coles local. So the local um branding of it means they have some more um upmarket items and and you know pre-prepared food available so yeah it's not just a small little supermarket it's, it's very large and has um pre-prepared food mm. as well that you can buy which again yeah very convenient and across the road there'll be more retail that's coming up as well and then now with stage two there is more development so the whole area literally the street right is going through uh, a big sort of up, upgrade basically and a lot of the um, buyers as well as the residents in the area will have a lot of amenities literally just downstairs now so you have almost your little own little enclave basically which I think would be great for people yeah. who want that convenience to city but actually still enjoy all the various amenities that the city offers right downstairs from them as well okay so we have one more last question I think from Wilski uh, is the coast 24 hours uh, okay, so guys, Coles is basically cold storage because I used to live in Singapore. So Coles is cold storage and I believe it's open till... I think it's 10 p.m. 10 p.m. So yeah. it's open till quite late. And what time do they start, basically? Uh, very early, 6. Okay, so yeah. almost... Okay, great. Thank you. Well, I guess that is uh, that answers everyone's question. So once again, Alex and um, Andrew, thank you so much for coming online uh, and sharing so much with us as well. So really appreciate your time. Um, and guys, if you have any questions, uh, obviously our PropNex team, we're all ready to help all of you as well. We have a PropNex tagger team. They're all very experienced taggers. So please make sure you reach out to all of us. We, we can be found on Agent Suite, basically. And then uh, if there's any questions that we don't know, we will ask Alex and Andrew. All right. Thank you so much again. Have a lovely Thank day. You. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Bye-bye.